Okay. <laughs> Heavenly Father, we praise and thank you again for bringing us together <clears throat> in this most special way, Lord. On this, your Lord's day, this you prepared for us, Lord, Father, from the beginning of time, Lord. Help us now to come with open hearts, hearts that are willing to receive your word and to receive your truth. Bless John as uh, you've blessed him in the message that he's going to bring, Lord, in the, in the, as he's prayed, prayed this to himself, so as to speak, in the, as he's come to study this word that he's going to bring to us now, Father. And may all of us uh, be blessed by it and through it, Lord, and help us to uh, and encourage us to, to actually live out your word, Father, as you put it forward from your word. We again pray for those that are under persecution. Those that are, uh, as we just discussed, Lord, you know all about it. And thank you for those that are upholding those that are under persecution, like the Christian Institute and many others in this land as well. And, and those MPs and um, through not just in England, but Ireland, Scotland, all through Great Britain and Southern Ireland as well. They're upholding the truth and staying firm in your belief. And especially we pray for the church in Stirling as well. That this upcoming court case that you will guide and lead over all in that and that you would even bring this uh, this woman leader to a truth and understanding um, of that truth and bring her into the kingdom as well and that for the many other churches that we don't hear about that are in the same situations Lord that are under under attack and to undermine your work in this land, Lord, we know that you are sovereign in all cases. You not only hear, but you answer prayer, especially those that you've put on our hearts. So hear this as you put it onto my heart and put it onto the hearts of those that I've sent out as well, and that the Christian Institute has sent out, and that in answer to prayer, you will bring about your justice, Lord, and that there, there won't be any more attacks through this, uh, through this way into the freedom of speech that you've given us, Lord. Oh, help us and forgive us our many trespasses against you, Lord. We always know that it's always the worst state when the church is in the worst state, so that the country follows us, oh, Lord. So bring us closer to you, each and every one singly and together as a church of your people, Lord, to praise and worship you and, those, and to honour you in that praise and worship. So thank you again for this time, for the internet. We ask that this... Uh, message as it goes out later on again there will be many who will be blessed by it and we also pray for those of our brothers and sisters who are literally under con condemnation of death because they stand for the truth help us to stand as sterling church is standing as they are standing in most difficult circumstances even unto death Lord. help us to stand as we do now ask that you give us that strength and comfort and peace as you will give them now in this your blessed day for we ask it in Jesus most glorious and wonderful name to him be all glory and honor on our lives thus in Jesus name amen so let's say a bit of an introduction here before we have our readings um could we have uh, we one or two? We just one reading. Mm. Two. two. So uh, perhaps uh, we have Sam to read the first one and Rita the second one. The heirs together, heirs together, really of the grace of God. Hope that we can uh, understand this a little bit more. So. When is social distancing not necessary? Uh, that's, a, that's a thought. When is it not necessary? Uh, well, there must be a time when it isn't necessary in the life of people. All uh, right. Necessary if one gets, you know, COVID-19. That's maybe a hint. <laughs> uh, I don't know, right? That dreaded thing. And, uh, well, we're going to keep you in suspense over that, right? Now, I need help here. Oh, sorry. 
Oh, it's not going that one, that one. That's better. Right. So we're reading then 1 Peter 3, 1 to 7 by Mr. Sam Ajangwa. We have it here, so I don't need to have it on. Let's read 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 1 to 7. Wives, likewise be su uh, submissive to your own husbands, that even if someone do not obey the word, they, without a word, may be won by uh, the conduct of their wives when they observe your chest conduct uh, com uh, accompanied by fear. Do not let your adornment be uh, merely outward, arranging the, the hair wearing gold or putting on fine apparel rather than rather let it be the the hidden person of the heart with the incorruptible, incorruptible beauty of a gentle and quiet spirit which is very precious in the sight of God for in this manner, in former times, the holy women who trusted in God also adored themselves, being submissive to their own husbands, as Sarah obeyed Abraham, calling him Lord, whose daughters you are, if you, you do not, you do good and are not afraid with any terror. Husbands, likewise, dwell with them with understanding, giving honor and uh, to the wife as to the weaker vessel and as being heirs together and uh, of the grace of life that your prayers may not be hindered. Amen. Thank you. The second reading then is from Ephesians chapter 5, verses 22 to 33. Wendy? That's wrong. Why? Wives, submit to your own husbands as to the Lord, for the husband is head of the wife, as also Christ is head of the church, and he is the saviour of the body. Therefore, just as the church is subject to Christ, so let the wives be to their own husbands in everything. Husbands, love your wives, just as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for her that he might sanctify and cleanse her with the washing of water by the word, that he might present her to himself a glorious church, not having spot or wrinkle or any such thing, but that she should be holy and without blemish. So husbands ought to love their own wives as their own bodies. He who loves his wife loves himself. For no one ever hated his own flesh, but nourishes and cherishes it, just as the Lord does the church. For we are members of his body, of his flesh, and of his bones. For this reason, a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. This is a great mystery, but I speak concerning Christ and the church. 
Nevertheless, let each one of you in particular so love his own wife as himself, and let the wife see that she respects her husband. Amen. Right. Oh, thank you. So let's uh, pray then before we come to the message. Our gracious and almighty God, we thank you for your blessings to us. We thank you for the word just read, Lord, and we ask, O oh Lord, you will lead and guide in the uh, uh, presentation, Lord, that speaker and hearer alike may be attentive to your voice. We ask, O oh Lord, your blessing, and we pray, Lord, you will lead and guide by your Holy Spirit, and that we may know the strength and the help of our God, and we may know uh, what your word guides and how it directs us and how we should live, uh, living together as a Christian family. And we know, Lord, that uh, many in the world today need, Lord, your word, and need the strength and help to live for you and to glorify your uh, great name. We pray, Lord, your blessing. And we ask, O oh Lord, Lord, that you will be with each one. We think of the many uh, of our uh, supporters and friends and ones, Lord, who 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 are now uh, a single, uh, you know, uh, uh, people in the home, Lord. And we ask, O oh Lord, you will guide and we pray, Lord, you will hold and help them, uh, you know, as times, Lord, of uh, loneliness or whatever, Lord. We pray, Lord, you're leading. We ask, O oh Lord, your blessing, but we know that underneath and round about are the everlasting arms. We pray, Lord, your hand upon them, and we ask, O oh Lord, you will guide and uphold and direct by your Holy Spirit. We thank you for your blessings. We thank you that you have a, a word that is suitable for each one of us, and we pray, Lord, that we'll be able to understand it in the light of how we live and in our situation, we pray. We ask it in Jesus' name and we pray that your Holy Spirit will come and guide us and direct us, Lord. We only rely upon him for the interpretation, for the understanding, for the challenge of your word. We pray in Jesus' name and for his sake. Amen. Amen.